and it took us maybe a bit too long to recover from that. That's why we probably ended up maybe not having enough ideas on how to, to score. No, no, Tago is uh, not much fit, so he, uh, he's working. Uh, Fokido has been carrying an injury for the last two weeks. He hasn't been able to train with the group every day, so we, we're monitoring him. Uh, I was delighted to see that uh, he came on and he changed the game. He, he tried, even though he was carrying a little injury. Uh, it was not in fact tactical. We, we didn't have much choice. So uh, it was the same situation against Perak and the same team did the job against Perak. So they could have, today, if they would have taken the chance in the first half, they could have easily walked away with a victory as well. Uh, I understand your questions because <laughs> we end up losing. Um, sometimes in football, you make one step back to then go three steps forward. We have a massive game on uh, on Saturday next week. And in a way, it's good because it's a wake up call. Uh, so far, everything has been going smooth and the atmosphere has been great. It's still great. Um, but now they wake up and realize that, you know, after all, there are dangers around the corner. So we have to be focused for 90 minutes each game. And uh, it may be coming at the right time for us because next week would have been really painful if we do not prolong to the final. Yeah, it's never nice to lose games, <laughs> never, uh, but uh, yeah, we take it on board, we analyse the game, what went wrong and uh, as I said, I think the players maybe thought that uh, it was going to be easier than, than it turns out to be, especially when they hit the bar twice and I thought, well, we were okay, doing fine and I did not see any danger. The danger really was set pieces from T-Team and uh, I thought they would not score from open play, but we got caught to sleep and they hurt us on the counter on the break.